football. Um, so in our days, uh, in my young days, uh, Ajax was famous, but in my region was at FC Twente. And we had a great player in that time. It was a really good team, Twente, um, with really many more good players. But it was one, it was Epi Drost. He was the libero. Uh, he was famous about all the risk he take from the back. Um, it was a really good player, um, famous, um, really idol for FC Twente. Still, there is a stand mentioned after him. Um, so he's one uh, of the famous, maybe the most famous player of FC Twente ever. So the, the club icon. And you got to work with him? Yes, I had the luck to, to work with him later on. When I was selected by FC Twente, I came in the youth and, um, and he was coach of the under-23. He was also the assistant. So then I met him and he trained and coached me. And you shared his boots as well. Yeah, it is. Huh? Um, um, we had the same size of boots so um, uh, and we shared them. Um. At what point, when your playing career stopped, or maybe while you were still a player, did you think that you wanted to be a manager? Yes, but you never know if you um, you go in that direction, finally. But as a player already, I did some courses. Um, so I, I got already some badges in uh, where I was playing as a professional player. I got my C and B license. Um, so when, in the moment I quit, um, I went and go for the A license. When you were a player, how would you describe the way that you were as a player and, and what you wanted to achieve? I think as a player, I was already so like a coach. Eh? I was like um, the connecting between the manager and the team. Uh, I was often I was captain, um, so I was in the middle of the pitch, positioned. Um, I was the centre midfielder, I was the holding midfielder and I tried to organise a team. So when you became that coach or the manager, did you take influences from other managers that you maybe had worked with or that you had, had watched from afar? Yes, and there were some and a famous one was the manager of that FC Twente was Kees Rijvers. Uh, later on he was manager of uh, PSV. Uh, win their European uh, Cup. Uh, later on he was also the manager of Dutch, of, of the Netherlands. Um, uh, previous he was a very good player and I had also the look uh, uh, two years he was my coach at FC Twente and yeah, I learned a lot uh, about him, about uh, organization in football, about his philosophy, about playing from the back, uh, attacking football and about team spirit, uh, but also other managers inspired me definitely, uh, like um, uh, Louis van Gaal, uh, uh, Rinus Michels, uh, Johan Cruyff, uh, and that are the big inspirers. Um, when you went into the Go Ahead Eagles and you got them promoted for the first time in, the, in almost two decades, I think they hadn't been in the top flight in the Eredivisie for 17 years. How much did that put you on the map in terms of you being recognised as the manager that maybe you would become? It's true. Uh, um, Court Eagles is a club like, um, uh, is a good club in the Netherlands. Played in the 70s uh, a long time in the Premier League of the Netherlands. But after that, uh, they dropped and yeah, they were in a bad shape. And, um, my team, uh, we bring the club back and I'm, I'm proud of that, uh, that uh, we, we succeeded in that. Um, it was a great team, I, I managed there, uh, looking back really with a uh, lot of joy and also proud uh, that um, uh, the team we created there and till the day of, uh, of today I have still a good connection with many of, the, of, of those players because we play first good football but also we were really good connected with each other and uh, on the pitch we were really hard to beat and um, finally we got promoted and that was a great experience. And in terms of your confidence, I'm, I'm sure winning 
must have, have built that as well. So going to Utrecht and helping them to, to fifth and fourth, I think you did in, in the league there. And then on to Ajax as well. Can you remember your ambitions at each stage in those? So when you were at Utrecht and then when you were at Ajax, what your ambitions did and, and how they grew maybe? Well, everywhere I was, I, of course, you wanted to win, eh, but you, um, the philosophy doesn't change big. Uh, but uh, the higher you come, uh, the bigger the club is, and the much more resistance is there, and who you have to overwin and where you have to deal with, and that uh, makes managing exciting, but also more difficult. Um, and, and more complicated, but uh, yeah, I enjoy it. Um, how bigger the challenge is, um, um, how mo more joy, I would say. So how much did what you've just said there have in the decision to go from Ajax to, to here at Manchester United? Yeah, I, I think, so when you see my career, but I didn't plan because I think you, you can't plan. Uh, and uh, also, yeah, a little bit look you need also. Uh, um, that you meet the right persons in your life and that you are on the right moment, on the right spot. And, but yeah, that is the way my pathway uh, went, uh, from Court Eagles to a bigger club um, as FC Utrecht. But I had a sidestep by Munich at uh, the, the 23s. And then uh, with all the experiences I had in the meantime, FC Utrecht, Ajax and now Manchester United. So. Obviously, I think yeah, every club is bigger. And how much of your own self-belief and confidence did you need in terms of the decision to come here and in making them winners again here? I, I have a self-belief. When you don't have, you can't succeed. And um, so I think I have enough skills. I have, in the meantime, enough of experience uh, to, to bring a team further. And how matter what the level is, um, I can bring them to the max maximum levels. Um, so I believe in uh, that I can manage that process. And just finally, for this, if I may, in terms of making the team better, whereas I know you can buy players, but do you get more satisfaction in the development of the players that you have got? Uh, you need more proce processes, and so one point is you know, bringing the right players in uh, but another thing is to develop the team and then in the meantime also when you develop the team improving you improve also the individuals and uh, and bringing players up from the academy so there are a lot of processes uh, which you have to manage and but bo uh, all three are uh, nice to deal with and uh, gives energy um, and you are meeting so many people and you are meeting so many elements of football and what help you to construct the best team. And just finally then, and it's part of that, the decision making and having to make those big decisions for you as well. Yeah, but you do it always into togetherness. Huh? Um, 